CloudRun makes it easy to build serverless HTTP applications. There's a second flavor called CloudRun on GKE that runs on Google Kubernetes Engine. Kubernetes is powerful, but exposes complexity that developers often don't want to manage. So Google has built a simple serverless developer experience that sits on top of the powerful GKE platform. Hello, and welcome to Differences Between Cloud Run and Cloud Run on GKE. I'm Brett McGowan. And I'm Martin Omander, and we are on the serverless team at Google. If you're building an HTTP application, Cloud Run makes it really simple to deploy your app. That's because scaling and other infrastructure concerns are handled for you. But serverless ease of use has meant you could only use certain languages and runtimes. Cloud Run changes that. By using industry standard containers, you can bring your own custom languages, libraries, and binaries. For Kubernetes operators, you can now provide the same simple Cloud Run experience for your developers, but running in a Google Kubernetes Engine cluster that you manage. As an operator, you can choose custom machine characteristics, such as CPU or memory, and even add hardware, like GPUs, to do machine learning. Before we dig into the differences between Cloud Run and Cloud Run on GKE, know that it's easy to redeploy your app from Cloud Run to Cloud Run on GKE, or vice versa, without re-implementing your service. So rest easy knowing that if your app's needs change, you can always switch later. Here's the command to deploy an app to Cloud Run that is not running on GKE. gcloud run deploy and give it the location of the container you want to deploy. It's almost exactly the same command to deploy to Cloud Run on GKE with just one additional parameter, the name of the cluster you want to deploy your app into. It's easy whether you're using the command line or the user interface. The short version is, if you're not sure, try Cloud Run that is not running on GKE. If it turns out that your app needs something specific from a Kubernetes cluster, you should use Cloud Run on GKE. Or if you have well-established practices and environments using Kubernetes, you may prefer to use Cloud Run on GKE. Before we discuss their differences, let's take a look at what both Cloud Run and Cloud Run on GKE have in common. Both allow you to create HTTP services that respond to all the normal HTTP methods like GET, POST, PUT, and so on. Both have a simple command line and user interface for developers to quickly deploy and manage services that automatically scale up depending on traffic and scale down to zero when not in use. However, when running on GKE, the auto-scaling is limited by the capacity of your GKE cluster. Both let you use the languages and libraries of your choice. They're both based on containers, which is an industry standard way to package and deploy code and its dependencies. For both, you can bring your own domain name and map your services to it. Both have out-of-the-box integration with Stackdriver monitoring, logging, and error reporting to ensure the health of your application. Both platforms are based on the open source Knative API and runtime contracts. This makes it easier to move your workloads across platforms that run on Knative. Now let's take a look at the differences between Cloud Run and Cloud Run on GKE to help you decide which is best for your workload. Cloud Run is pay per use, which means you're billed only when your code is running. Cloud Run on GKE is billed for resources you've allocated to your cluster, which means with GKE you can control your billing by controlling the characteristics of your GKE cluster. Workloads that see big dips and spikes in traffic will tend to be cheaper on Cloud Run, but workloads with consistent and high traffic may be more cost effective on Cloud Run on GKE. With Cloud Run, you get one CPU and can customize memory. Cloud Run on GKE lets you change memory, GPU, or CPU requirements. A URL is automatically generated for your HTTP service, and an SSL certificate is provided automatically when you use Cloud Run. For Cloud Run on GKE, you may need to provide your own domain name and handle SSL certificates manually. Both services let you expose your app to the public internet. But Cloud Run lets you manage which identities are allowed to invoke your services. With Cloud Run on GKE, you can also set your service to be accessed just within your GKE cluster or just within your virtual private network. Finally, only Cloud Run on GKE can access other resources within your virtual private network. This is on the roadmap for Cloud Run. Now that you know the major differences between Cloud Run 
and Cloud Run on GKE. Stay tuned to the Google Cloud YouTube channel for more great Cloud Run content. Can't wait to see what you build on Cloud Run using your favorite language and libraries. See you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this.